In this video, we're going to show you how a sticker or a car decal is born. As you're watching on your screen, this project was made recently. And I will say probably 80% of the time, uh, customers already have a design or they provide an idea of what they have or what they want. So most of the time we just vectorize their logos or uh, find that's close uh, to theirs. But there'll be times when you have to get creative with your software and develop a design. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you how I made this design from this project and made it in my software Corel Draw 6 and became a reality or a sticker. So here we are. Uh, this is the software. And let me just say this when you are going to make a logo or a design sometimes you don't have to get crazy like make super complicated designs you just gotta give the impression like you know for for example this person does landscaping and what he wanted is uh, the name of his company and uh, just what he does and kind of like an idea that people get an idea of what he does, even uh, visually by reading the name and getting a hint. So this uh, this is a very basic design and you can uh, develop this on any name or any idea. So here we are. Uh, one of the things that I recommend when you're making a design is that uh, you uh, download a lot of uh, fonts that you can, you know, use for every type of uh, projects. And there are a lot of websites where you can download free fonts. Uh, I will put some of them below on the description or on the first comment. So uh, let's start the tutorial. Uh, we're going to do this capital letters. And basically the guy wanted his name and um, lawn care. And below and light landscaping because again that's what he does and you don't have like I say you don't have to make any complicated designs this is definitely a, a very simple design and there's a lot of them that uh, soon I will upload more of this type of uh, tutorials for Corel draw so here we have the main uh, title which is uh, Matt's lawn care and you gotta mix try to avoid using the same font for this one I use this one here and just maybe put a little you know bolder letters and just find a spot and highlight the whole phrase and center but right now let's not focus on that let's let's focus more on and making the grass or the impression of grass, which is what I'm going to do here. So let's zoom in and it was very simple. Again, I'm just gonna show you exactly how I did it. Uh, let me show you a very handy tool here in, in Corel Draw. For those who have uh, Corel Draw or those who are planning to get Corel Draw, this, this is a really handy tool that I use a lot, especially when I'm uh, either tracing an image or when I'm creating something that I can just make one dot and another one and then join, conjoin the, the, the shape that I made. So in this occasion, I'm going to do like a type of triangle, but then I'm going to make it into curve the image. So this is pretty much what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to double click, uh, maybe stretch it a little bit. So I'm going to do a right click on the mouse and hit, uh, you will see this uh, list here and just select to curve and pretty much you just, you know, curve this, make it look like, like grass. Again, it is not very complicated design. This is uh, pr pretty simple stuff. You don't even have to do uh, like on this occasion, I already made one here. So what you can do. If you're lazy like me, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I, I, I try to make a uh, really nice designs for my customers. So I just make a little one here and maybe change it a little bit so it doesn't look exactly the same uh, like that maybe. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another type of triangle. It'll be basically more like a circle, half a circle. But uh, I'm, go I'm going to need to curve it like this. And let's just double click. Hit right and then to curve. And then we're going to curve this. Do the same on this side and just get rid of this dot just select the dot and click delete on your keyword and don't worry it it, it always happens like that but you can reshape the whole image so uh, let's now curve this uh, bottom part here to curve it'll be kind of like a moon shape half a moon but you can again you can the cool thing about this tool is that you can um, if you're not satisfied with for whatever reason, you can always find and reshape again. Uh, if you're not completely satisfied with your design, you can always start again or just uh, shape it differently. And this is pretty much what I did with this design. But what I do here, once I have one side cover, I just make a copy on this side copy here and then do mirror and that's it you don't have to redo the whole thing you just uh, do one side and that's it you just group this together add some color i actually use uh, like a lime green for this uh, project but it was again once i send that sample to the customer he was in love with his design and again you don't you did not see me uh, break my head with a complicated design so it is pretty simple stuff so let's um, let's add some contour now here's the original color that i use for this so uh, let's uh, do that green it's a really nice green now, again you have to know what colors uh, vinyls you have on your disposal what those that plays a huge role on your designs you gotta be sure that you have those colors available and one thing i can tell you is uh if you ever come across uh, a landscaping uh, company uh, they will love these combinations uh, lime green and outline or contour black contour like in this occasion this one here uh, so let's try you can play with the settings I don't know if you saw what I did. I, I was I was sorry. I was busy talking, but I group all of this together, okay? And then after you group it together, you go to window, click here and go to dockers, and then you will find the contour here. Now, uh when it it shows up, it will automatically be uh on default, and the default is when you add an outline inside the font and you don't want that you want an outside the font so you're gonna go here where it says outside contour not inside contour okay so go to outside contour and then kind of play with your settings here um, let's keep this into one and play with these settings below here uh, if it's not thick it's a whole way actually it's too too thick so let's do this smaller it is very handy tool uh, this bezier and contour that you can add on Corel Draw to your designs it makes a it makes a huge difference when you work on designs when you add a contour again you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna use more vinyl for this type of designs but uh, again if the customer is willing to pay do not worry about the cost just make a simple design and uh, he will like it and you will make that sale. So you can kind of want to work on like this extra like spikes here. If you don't like him like that, then no worries. You, I'm going to show you how you can uh, work on this. Let me just go to arrange and then break contour apart. You got to break the contour from the font. And we want to work on... Uh, this stuff here that I don't like okay so let's go to fit and just double click and again you can just uh, either get rid of the dot or just kind of like make this smaller no problem I mean it's it's pretty simple stuff again you don't have to go crazy on your designs this is pretty much 
what I did with this um, company. And yeah, this is this was a quick tutorial uh, because we had this question from somebody that how do we make our designs or how do we decide the, the projects or stuff like that, you know. And like I say, most of the time the customer has their own design. We kind of like vectorize their images or find something close to what they want. But uh, there'll be times again that you're going to have to get creative and again, you saw me do this. It wasn't very complicated, easy stuff. Just practice and you will master this. Uh, thank you guys. This is it for this video. If you did like this uh, video, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. We really appreciate your support. And yeah, I will see you again on the next video. Thank you.